Hello, so these are your warm up problems. For the first one, you have this situation, you have a car that is parked on a steep hill. So this is the hill and the car is over here. Mm, looks like a Chevy or something. And you have to identify the forces on the car and draw the free body diagram of the car. So free body diagram is just a point um, that represents the whole body. So a point represents this car and have the um, X and Y axis. And well, gravity is always acting on objects. So you have gravity and it is pointing down because gravity always points you know, towards the center of the earth. This is the force of gravity. The other one is the normal force that is produced by the um, uh, electric interaction of the atoms of the road and of the car, they repel each other. So the normal force is the force that keeps you on the ground and you, know, you don't fall to the center of the earth. It keeps you there. And in this case, it is at an angle. Uh, so the normal force is always provided by the floor. And if the floor is at an angle, then the the force is at an angle, the normal force. And this one, you know, we can call it maybe N or something, normal force. And that's it. Those are the only two forces that are acting on, on the car. And for the next one, you have, a chandelier that hangs from a chain in the middle of a dining room. So I guess this is the, I don't know how to draw that, maybe kind of like that, chandelier. So this is the dining room. It's like just a cube because, you know, physicists are good at approximating things with cubes and spheres. So um, we have to do the same thing, also identify the forces on the chandelier and draw the free body diagram. So the forces are the tension, in this case, pulling the chandelier up and gravity is still acting down. But in this case, we don't have uh, an angle. So again, we have uh, the X and the Y axis. Gravity is pulling down and tension is pulling up. These are vectors. And that's it. You know, so just identify the forces, draw the free body diagram, which is uh, represent the, the object by a point, and then you draw the vectorial forces that are actually running. So I hope you like this problem. <laughs>